to uh, open us up, talk about Saturday, and then uh, we'll preview this week's game at Murray. Yeah, I thought uh, this past weekend was a great atmosphere at home. Uh, I think the players were excited about being having the home opener. I don't think we played our best game uh, on offense or defense. And defensively, we let them control the clock a little bit. But it was a different type of offense, the option offense. And you know, at times, we were hesitant um, pulling the trigger, so to speak. But you know, our, we played well enough to win. And uh, I think I'd rather learn off a win than a learn off a loss. So uh, we'll get, we can get better from that. But you now, guys played hard. You got to give them a lot of credit. They were well coached and played really hard. And it was uh, nice to get to win. Now we. You know, I think athletically, you know, Murray's going to be better than what we just saw uh, across the board. Uh, they're they're pretty athletic up front defensively, so we we've got to have a good week of practice. It's a long trip, you know, a long bus ride, and uh, we got to have, as our guys know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays is our big heavy practice days, and we got a lot to work on. Yeah, Coach Dean Hood, head coach there, is a very, very close friend of mine. Uh, as I told the team, we, you know, they were shocked. I said, "Well, yeah, we worked together 30 years ago," and I said, "Yeah, I'm that, I'm that old." But uh, he's uh, uh, a close friend. He was my defense coordinator at Glenville State when we uh, got there, and uh, did a uh, not just a good job, but a great job. Was a great football coach, a great person, and we always kept in touch. Uh, like I said, we've been very, very close for over the years, and. Uh, he's, you know, he's won everywhere he's been. He's done a great job at Murray. What they, what he's done there, just in a couple of years, and you could see his culture because the guys play hard. They know what they're doing. You know, his, uh, his staff. I know a couple guys on his staff as well. And so, um, yeah, I don't really like playing good friends. You know, but you know, when we, so we probably won't talk at all this week, and we'll talk before the game, and I'm sure we'll talk after the game. But uh, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a close friend of mine. Yeah, it's really unique. I mean, there's a lot of uh, science behind it, and a lot of uh, both NFL and college teams that are doing it. Uh, I think when when Blake, Coach McCall, said we have a chance to do that, and we're partnering with their company a little bit to, for them to help offset some of the cost. But uh, it's been great. And I don't know all the science to it, uh, but I know it's it's pretty accurate as far as being able to. And I don't know how to do that. I mean, you got a vest on. It's got. This, this whatever mechanisms in it, and somehow it tracks how fast you go, how you know how long you go, and it it seems to be pretty accurate. And so we 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 even wear it. I didn't know we were going to wear it during the games. We wear it during the games too. Guys are used to wearing it every day at practice. So uh, it's really going to be. I've got to trust the science of it, and I can kind of tell. Are we practicing hard, or or putting a lot of miles on, so to speak? But you know that's that's more accurate than me just guessing on it, and so it's it gives us a good barometer. It gave us a great barometer during August camp where we were at, but I think even more importantly, it gives us a barometer during the season. You know how hard we want to go on our Tuesday Wednesday practices, and and who's given the you know the maximum effort all the time. And so it's uh, it's pretty unique. I'm I'll be shocked if if not every college program that can afford it or wants to do it won't be doing it in the future. That's how how uh, I think neat it really is. The science is with it. I like to get, you know, first off, I get like to get volume, you know, because we like to go no huddle. We like to run a lot of plays in practice. Our practice is not long, but you can see, okay, uh, they went 3.5 miles today total yardage. The wideouts did, or the old lineman went uh, two and a half miles today, and then you could tell how how hard that two and a half miles was. Was it a is it, was it a full strain load, like going full speed for two miles? Or was it a one mile at full speed and a half mile at half speed? So all that gives you a barometer, okay, about conditioning, which I think is critical, but also, you know, how hard our guys are going. And so I can't really, you can't really tell if a guy's loafing because you don't know the what all plays that they were run. But it gives you a lot of information, at least the wear and tear on their, on their legs and then how fast we're going with it. And uh, and sometimes, too, it's kind of – I know the players like looking at how fast they're going. Are they going 20 mile an hour? Are they going 15 mile an hour? And so in a game, when you're going live, you want to see who your you, – if you want to tell who your fastest guys are or at least who's playing fast, that can tell you that, that who's really playing fast. And so that's, a, that's one of the neat things you can could, you could find out on that as well. A lot of scientific answers. Aren't you impressed with my – 
physical education degree from West Virginia. Uh, Proud of it. Do you have an update on Angelo's evening? Doubt that he'll play Saturday. And we're hopeful that, uh, that he'll make a lot of great progress this week. Um, but we're doubtful for Saturday, hopeful for next weekend. Yeah, Trey's athletic. Uh, you know, he's uh, you know a couple snaps are a little bit low and all that, but he's I think he's comfortable in there. And you know, he's uh, he's a big, strong guy and uh, did a nice job, and and uh, he'll be able to handle that. And then if uh, and then Brock Roby can snap too. He can play at center. But you miss Kanji's leadership and and all that. But uh, he's working hard. He's he's better now than he was last week. But we're hopeful. I don't know, if, like I said, this weekend, but we're hopeful for next weekend. Yeah, uh, Jackson Latrell's have he's he's played really well. I mean, the first game he was our player of the game defensively. He was was uh, was active. Was getting off blocks. Held the point really well. He's a great young man. Tough tough guy, and uh, we and, and he's he's a big part of what we do because we don't have a lot of size defensively. We're a little bit undersized. And so our big guy's got to play a lot, and uh, he's been playing really well. And then Speedy is, is a guy I think is probably, when we got here, everybody says, well, you know, he's got a lot of talent, but he's, you know, he's not really put it all together. He was kind of down on the depth chart, so to speak. He was buying three or four good players. And we challenged him. Coach McDowell challenged him all spring. We challenged him all summer. Said, listen, you've got enough talent. You've got an ability to, to help us. You've got to get focused and learn what we're doing and, and be fully committed. And he has. I mean, he is, you know, one of the fast. And we're not as fast as we want to be or that we will be. But he's one of the guys that is fast, that can run a little bit. You know, I guess you wouldn't have a nickname Speedy if you were slow. I hope not. But uh, he's played really well. And you know what else he's done is he's played physically. You know, he, he's blocked well on the perimeter and uh, and he's run hard so uh, I've been really pleased with him and got a lot of confidence in uh, what he's doing right now. Is your player of the week match up with who the A Sun picked? Uh, Webb and Tullis? Yeah, we picked Webb. It was you know and Zion made some plays, but he can play better. But he made he did make plays and he's uh, he's an athletic guy. So we picked him and then defensively I know Tay had a bunch of tackles but we picked uh, Help me, Raquel. Who was it? Uh, I'm trying to think right now. I'll let, let Raquel check the notes. Fuqua. Yeah, Colby Fuqua was probably played the best defensively as far as our grades and assignment-wise. And Tay played well, but but Colby was was our D. And then our special teams player was uh, Petway. Michael did a couple of returns and uh, punt and kickoff did a nice job. Yeah, his a couple of the decisions why, and it was hard. It's one of those games that could be frustrating offensively because you're never on the field. And okay, do you, do you want to go fast tempo and let our defense go back out there all the time? And so you know, it was that that part of it was a little frustrating. So we never really got the tempo going like we wanted to. And some of that was because of what they were doing offensively. Some of it was because you know we missed a couple third down conversions offensively. But it was uh, you know Zion's going to get better. I think. You know, he's played a lot of football, but he's not played a lot of football in our system, which, you know, is not a whole lot more complicated than anybody else. It's just different. Terminology is different and, and all that. So, uh, you know, he missed a few things, but he's, he's a competitive guy. And as I said, I trust the other two quarterbacks as well. But Zion is, you know, he is, uh, he's, he's kind of sneaky running-wise. I mean, he's faster than you think, and he's kind of elusive. So, uh, you know, he's he brings an extra dimension in that in that regard. But I think his best football is still out in front of us for him. You've talked a lot early in the season about this being kind of the, the freshman season for these guys in this offense, new system. Is there something in, in your I don't know, in, in your past places where is there a point in the year where you kind of expect things to click even more for guys and maybe you, you get to the point where you're not talking about this being the first year? Yeah, good question. I you like to think, oh boy, where they get it. And normally you'll see it in practice. You know, I, I see glimpses in practice, like, boy, we just, you know, they're, they're, the quarterbacks are seeing the whole field. 
There's not, you know, there's no hesitation or confusion. And part of that goes back to us as coaches. Do we need to simplify things a little bit more? But then you go into game week and you're like, you see a different defense and you want to be able to have answers to that. And so, you know, as coaches, sometimes we add too many plays and then, you know, execution is more important than the play call, right? So uh, I don't, I'm hoping we'll see it, you know, as the, as the season goes along, this is what we're good at and it, it clicks a little bit, but there's still going to be every week we're going to have a different type, probably a different type of defense we're going against. And so, you know, you, you hope it all uh, captures it. Not always the first year. Any coach will tell you the first year is the hardest because not just scheme-wise, but your adjustment-wise. You, you, the things that you want to adjust during the game, you know, as an experienced group would have, they'll already, before you give them the answer, they'll know the answer. Right now they're just – we're, we're telling them and then they're reacting as opposed to, oh, coach, I knew I expected this check to come or I expected this answer to come. And I don't know if it'll, it'll get there. I'm hoping we'll get there quickly. Guys, if y'all could just open us up on how you thought the home opener went and then uh, we'll take questions. All right. So in the first game? Yeah, yeah, uh, last week, I'm sorry. Last week. Oh, last week. Oh, I thought that we came in good. You know, we started off pretty good, you know, we came out second half kind of, you know, through the motions, but I'm glad we got it done. You know, we could always get better. I feel like we could have done a lot more things that game to be better. But besides that, a W is a W. Um, I feel like <clears throat> our uh, preparation, we weren't quite as locked in throughout the week as we should have been. I don't know, I guess because of emotions from Stephen F. Austin just being so ready to play and kind of just the drag on from that. But. I feel like there was multiple opportunities in the game Saturday to put them away, and we kind of just let them keep hanging around until the fourth quarter, and we could have probably put them away in the first half. But uh, just uh, continuing to work hard and continuing to just never lose focus of our goals. But those GPS, really um, for us, like tracks to who's playing hard. They talk about the contact you get, who, you know, how fast you're running, you know, because from practice to game, so that's what it really tracks us. It can also track like your strain, yardage, and like how hard you're working, like from your previous practices and games and like your exertion, just like how far you're pushing yourself, I guess, also like that. It's just crazy how there's technology out there that can measure those things that I didn't think I guess you could measure. It's just so much. Nah, it's just crazy. Me. I'm going to say I'm going to say me. I'm going to say but we got a lot of fast guys, especially our running backs. We got some pretty fast dudes in the running back field. Jackson, what's it like, you know, going against speedy and practice what do you see from there? Well, from being here from I guess the past, this is my fourth year. Uh, our old backs that we used to have in our old staff were all like bigger, stronger, more physical backs with less, you know, speed and agility. And it's just, it was a big change, I guess, going from tackling the majority of bigger physical guys to a little smaller, shiftier guys. Sometimes <laughs> you get in the hole when you miss a tackle at practice. But uh, yeah, they, they bring a um, big play. They bring, bring big plays to our uh, offense, which is, a huge thing that we need, and uh, they really open it up for us. Matt, I have a second question. What's it like you know, going against him, seeing him work in practice? Oh, it's, it's hard, you know, because the defense gives us a good look. For me, I feel like we have the best D-line, best defense in the country, and just going against them is helping us get better and better every day. Is there a play that stands out in particular that, that he's made in practice? Um, I say getting to the backfield quick, you know, just gra grabbing me as soon as possible so he know I can't get loose. <laughs> you guys talked about this week, the game, uh, Murray State. What have y'all seen from them so far? Um, they have a very good quarterback that I didn't know this, but he was actually there last year. He was just a second string guy. And I guess through a lot of his preparation over the offseason, he's improved a lot. He looked really good against uh, Texas Tech last week. Um, their offense shows that they can make big plays. You know, Texas Tech's a pretty good team. So uh, they made some big plays against Texas Tech, and we're going to have to limit big plays and explosives and really just, you know, lock down on our job and do our assignments again this week. For both guys, what was the atmosphere like Saturday for your first time in the game? 
it was good to be back home for sure, definitely. It was crazy, you know, just seeing a lot of fans out there, everybody just enjoying the moment, coming out there. I really appreciate them. Jackson, what was it like, you know, the, the Trout told us that you were the defensive player of the week after that first game. What was that like kind of hearing that from the coaches? It felt good because, you know, like with the new staff, they're like still really getting to know us really well. And so just, you know, coming from Coach Rod and everything, it just felt, it felt good to get that, you know, award or accomplishment through the coaching staff. Um, just, I just come here, work hard, you know, every day, and just, you know, what comes to me comes to me in the games, and just give it my best efforts. And I think, really, I think personally, anybody on our defense that week could have gotten that award. We all played very well. If you look at the tackles, it was all spread throughout the defense pretty evenly. We all just did our job really well, and we're, I guess, ready to play that first game and quit hitting each other. Um, well, playing against their O-line, they're all real big, but the thing that I found success was a bull snatch and just whenever I got his weight going backwards when I would pull him, I would be able to get off the block and get in the backfield and cause disruption.